It's beautiful downtown Rockville. You can even stand it. This is the part of Rockville that I like much better. The old part. The classy part. From way back in the day. But it's not far from the classy part of Rockville that you find the way too modern, way too built up part. Now here's a place that's seen better days, but still, talk about classy. They just do not make them like that anymore. They just don't make them like that anymore either. This is beautiful, scenic old downtown Rockville at the intersection of East 28 and Maryland 198. Not far away from beautiful downtown Rockville is beautiful Sugarloaf Mountain. A mere 20 minute drive north of that overbuilt place and its classy old town. This is the real country, or what's left of it around here. just to give you some idea of the age of this place. Sugarloaf Mountain is a privately owned park owned by Stronghold Inc. One Gordon and Louise Strong are I believe the present proprietors or at least the previous ones. This place receives over a quarter million visitors annually. No great surprise as you will soon see. Look at that lovely little winding road going through those deep dark woods. This is actually pretty typical of Maryland Piedmont country, which is where the seaboards and flatlands give way to the mountains. Talking about lovely. This is also a relatively natural, although second growth or even third growth forest. And folks, please pardon me if the image stabilization isn't all that it could be. This is such a fun little road to drive. I used to come up here just about every other weekend, maybe every weekend when I was a little kid because it was uh, not air conditioned at our house. And it was always about 10 degrees cooler up here during the summer. This is the east view. Not quite up to the top, but you can still see quite a ways. Note, if you will, over there right near the visible horizon is the lovely Potomac River, meaning that if you were up here on a clear winter's day, you could see all the way down to Roslyn, Virginia. In any kind of weather, lots of people come out here to enjoy the quiet and extremely natural surroundings. Picnic tables are, of course, available, as are Jiffy Johns and printed handouts. If you want to walk all the way to the top, you sure can along any of the many fine and pleasant trails. If you're a good freehand climber, you may want to give these a try. Ah yes, I was much younger when I used to prefer this as my way to the top. At the west, or highest, overlook, there are various amenities from porta potties to during the summer season, a little concession stand where you can buy sodas and that sort of thing. Bottled water as well, and water is something you will need to bring with you. A lot of people do come here for the fall colors. It's too bad Mr. Sunshine couldn't be out and cooperating because there are many, many fine specimens of Maryland fall foliage. As you can see, picnics probably occur here with alarming frequency. 
there's certainly enough tables all over the place. As you can tell, this place has been being maintained and developed for some time. When I first came here, in perhaps third grade, about 45 years ago, almost everything you see here was already in place, including this fascinating little building. During the first Civil War, this place was at times occupied by both Union and Confederate troops. I forget which one built this little blockhouse at the West Overlook, but it was used both as a storehouse, as a brig, and as an observation post. Why would they want it as an observation post? From here on a clear day, you can see to the far blue ridge that first line Right at the horizon in this image is uh, Blue Ridge, close are the Catoctons, many foothills. This certainly sees many of the possible approaches from the Potomac. At that point in time, I'm sure they cut down a lot of trees to get a better field of view. As you can see, this position was extremely defensible against almost any possible approach. It was defensible against almost anything except for graffiti artists but nothing can defend us from those. As a kid, this is one of the places where I first learned do a little rock climbing. Here's a general map of the place. One of the things that I should point out here at the West View is that while the trails are generally navigable, there are lots of big rocks around. I mean, it is, after all, a mountain. This isn't actually quartz. This is mostly a mixed form of quartzite. A rock which is originally sedimentary and then uh, subjected to great pressure and temperature, a metamorphic rock. It's very strong, very durable, very hard to crack, dent, chip, or do anything to. These rocks have been here for a long, long time. They'll be here a lot longer.